dogs exhibit some truly quirky behaviors, like sniffing butts, trailing you into the bathroom, and cocking their heads when you talk to them. These actions might seem random, but there's actually a meaningful, often surprising explanation behind each one, as scientists have discovered. Number 1. Lip Licking Let's begin with something every dog owner has seen. Lip licking. Sure, your pup might be licking their lips because you just opened the peanut butter jar or they're anticipating dinner, but that's not the only reason. Dogs also lick their lips when they're feeling nervous. If you notice your dog licking their lips and there's no food in sight, then take a look around. They might be feeling anxious about something. You can help them by giving them more space, removing them from the situation, or working to make them more comfortable with whatever's bothering them. Lip licking can also be a sign of submission or appeasement. In doggy social circles, this behavior can indicate to another dog or to humans that they mean no harm. Number two, head tilting. Now let's discuss one of the quirkiest and cutest behaviors, the head tilt. It's something that can instantly melt our hearts, but there's more to it than just being adorable. Dogs tilt their heads for several legitimate reasons, and one of them might make you love them even more. Firstly, it's a handy trick to enhance their hearing. Despite their large and floppy ears, they sometimes need to adjust their head position to better catch sounds or pinpoint their source. Plus, when you're talking to them, that adorable tilt isn't just about cuteness. It's a sign that they're actively trying to understand you better. It turns out, the muscles controlling their middle ear are linked to the same part of the brain responsible for facial expressions and head movements. So when you laugh at their tilt, you inadvertently reinforce this behavior because let's face it, they love the attention. It's harmless and endearing, but next up, we'll delve into a behavior that's actually the most perilous in this lineup, which brings us to number three, pica. Yes, many dogs have a penchant for munching on things that aren't meant for consumption. Think sticks, rocks, socks, or even poop. This behavior is called pica, and it can stem from various reasons. Medical issues, nutritional deficiencies, anxiety, boredom, or simply teething if you've got a puppy. While it might seem cute at first when they're chomping down on sticks or nabbing your socks, it's crucial to recognize the potential dangers. Sticks can cause mouth injuries, while swallowing non-food items like underwear can lead to choking or stomach blockages, sometimes necessitating surgery. If you find yourself nodding in agreement, recognizing your own pup in this description, it's wise to consult your vet. Together, you can pinpoint the root cause and devise a strategy to curb this behavior, ensuring your furry friend enjoys a long, happy, and healthy life. Number four, rolling. All right, let's steer away from the perilous and dive back into the adorable antics of our furry pals. Many dogs can't resist the urge to flop onto their backs, flaunting their bellies for all to see. While it's often interpreted as a submissive gesture, there's more to it than meets the eye. Sometimes it's a playful invitation to other pups, or simply a plea for some quality belly rubs from you. And if they're wriggling in the grass, it might be to soothe an itch or leave their olfactory signature behind. Yes, dogs aren't just about marking territory with pee. They also dabble in the art of scent application through rolling. But here's where things take a peculiar turn. Dogs have a penchant for rolling in odorous delights like poop. Strange, right? Well, not entirely. When they indulge in such fragrant escapades, they're not just aiming to acquire a new aroma. It's a two-fold strategy. Firstly, it helps them blend in better with their surroundings, masking their doggy scent from potential predators. Secondly, think of it as their version of social media. By smelling unique, they're showcasing their adventures to their canine cohorts. It's their way of communicating, albeit in a rather aromatic manner. After your dog takes care of business, you might notice them kicking up some grass, but they're not gearing up for a bull-like charge. Nope, it's not a prelude to a charge. It's actually a way for them to leave a message for other pups. When they kick the ground, they're dispersing pheromones from their paw pads, essentially saying, I was here. It's like leaving their calling card for their furry friends, letting them know the coast is clear and all is well. Plus, kicking helps spread their scent further, enhancing their communication network with other dogs in the vicinity. This behavior might also harken back to their wild roots, where covering up their waist was a survival instinct to avoid attracting predators. So the next time your dog engages in this curious habit, just know they're not trying to challenge anyone to a bullfight. They're simply updating their canine social network. Number five, weird gifts. Some dogs have a real talent for presenting their humans with unexpected gifts. While some might fetch a toy eagerly, others have a more specific taste, offering up items like old socks or random bits of fabric. Don't forget to share your stories in the comments about the unusual treasures your furry companion has brought you. Now, regardless of the oddity of the gift, 
the underlying message remains the same. Your dog is looking for your attention, craving some playtime, or simply showing off their latest find. It's all part of their way of expressing trust and affection, much like how wolves share food within their pack to strengthen bonds. It's a delightful quirk of canine behavior that underscores the special connection between dogs and their human companions. Number six, stealing. One cute, albeit frustrating behavior that many dogs do is stealing their owner's stuff. It's annoying, I know, but they're not doing it to bug you. Nope, it's all about love, seriously. They might snatch your socks because they're into your scent, or maybe they grab your undies because they know it'll get you chasing after them, giving them all the attention they crave. It's kind of like those awkward attempts at flirting from your middle school days, right? When you tease someone you like just to get noticed, and stealing stuff isn't just about attention seeking. Sometimes it's their way of spicing up their day or beating boredom. So toss them some cool toys and make sure they get enough playtime and exercise. That way, they'll be too pooped to go on a thieving spree in your closet. Number seven, circling. Dogs have this funny habit of circling before they do their business. It might seem random, but there's actually a bunch of reasons behind it. For starters, they could be doing a quick security check, making sure there are no sneaky predators lurking around before they get down to business. Plus, they might be flattening out the grass to avoid any uncomfortable surprises during the process. And get this, when they kick up the grass, they're actually leaving behind little scent messages for other dogs through their paw pads. If they're pacing around before they go, it could mean they're just trying to get things moving down there. But if they're really going at it, it might be a hint that they're having some tummy troubles, so a chat with the vet might be in order. And it's not just about pooping either. Sometimes they'll do a little spin before they lay down, kind of like fluffing up their pillow. It's all about instincts, really, like how their wolf ancestors used to circle up to stay alert. Plus, it's a way for them to find out the best spot for a comfy nap, making sure they're all cozy and safe. Number 8. Staring while pooping. When dogs lock eyes with you while they're doing their business, it might seem a bit odd, but there's actually a touching reason behind it. See, dogs feel pretty exposed when they're in that position, so they might be seeking reassurance from you or making sure you're on the lookout for any potential threats. And here's the thing, you might have inadvertently trained them to do it. Back when they were just a pup, you probably rewarded them with treats for doing their business outside, right? Well, that anticipation of a treat might have stuck with them, making them instinctively look to you during the act. It's like they're saying, hey, are you proud of me? But let's be real, it can make the whole situation a bit awkward, especially when they give you that puppy dog stare. Yet at its core, it's a testament to the deep bond of trust between you and your furry friend, showing that they rely on you for comfort and security, even in their most vulnerable moments. Number nine, licking privates. One behavior that can sometimes lead to uncomfortable moments is when dogs engage in private parts licking, especially in the presence of guests. However, this behavior serves a crucial purpose for them. And yes, it's all about maintaining hygiene. Unlike humans, who have access to toilet paper, dogs rely on their tongues as their primary cleaning tool. Yet, excessive licking in this area could indicate an underlying health issue, such as an infection. Look out for additional signs like scooting on the floor, redness, or unusual odors, as these could be indicators of a problem that requires veterinary attention. Number 10. Licking Feet Moving on to another aspect of licking behavior, some dogs exhibit a fondness for licking feet, particularly if they emit a strong odor. This preference isn't solely about the scent. Dogs are also attracted to the saltiness of sweat. While this might seem peculiar, licking serves multiple purposes for them. It can be a display of affection or submission, as well as a means of gathering information about their environment and the individuals within it. Number 11, sleeping on dirty laundry. Have you ever caught your furry friends snoozing on your pile of dirty laundry or curled up with your shoes? Don't be surprised. They're just drawn to your scent like a magnet. To them, those funky smelling clothes are like a security blanket, giving them a comforting whiff of their favorite human. Sure, it's not quite the same as cuddling up with you, but with their super sensitive noses, it's the next best thing. This cozy habit stems from their deep-seated need to feel close to you, offering them a sense of security and familiarity, especially when you're not by their side. Number 12. Following into the restroom. Many dogs with their strong sense of smell and curious nature have a habit of joining their owners in the restroom. The restroom holds a unique allure for them because it carries your scent, providing them with a sense of comfort and familiarity. Unlike when they do their business outside, you probably aren't as enthusiastic about the scent in the bathroom. Yet for them, it's an intriguing space filled with various smells, 
offering a chance to be near you in a confined and undistracted environment. Number 13. Butt Sniffing Now, let's dive into what could arguably be considered one of the quirkiest dog behaviors. Their fascination with sniffing butts. Whether it's a human butt, a dog butt, or even a cat butt, dogs don't discriminate. They'll sniff them all. When they engage in this peculiar activity with other dogs, it's not just a casual greeting, it's a sophisticated form of communication. Through these sniffing sessions, they can discern a myriad of information about their furry counterparts, whether they've met before, their emotional state, their friendliness, and even their potential suitability as a mate. It might seem like a rather direct approach compared to our human customs, but in its efficiency lies its brilliance, doesn't it? However, dogs aren't limited to sniffing other dogs' behinds. They might also give your crotch or butt a thorough inspection. Just like with fellow canines, this isn't merely a hello, it's an information-gathering mission. Our bodies have apocrine glands in those areas that release pheromones, conveying details like our age, mood, and gender to our canine companions. For ladies, if you've recently engaged in certain activities like intimacy, menstruation, or childbirth, your scent might pique their interest even more due to the heightened pheromone levels. It's a curious blend of canine curiosity and olfactory perception that underscores their reliance on smell to navigate their surroundings, understand their human companions, and communicate effectively in their canine world. And that's the end of today's video. If you found the content helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.